Manchester United fans, you have been waiting on the line to find out the big news concerning your club. Alex Crook, don't you hate when you're you're on the phone, it gets disconnected, you don't even realise, you just keep chatting away. <laughs> I read the entire statement with you, uh, thinking that you guys were still listening, but this is massive breaking news on this night of big breaking news on TalkSport. We were expecting uh, bids for Manchester United, 10 o'clock the deadline set by the Rain Bank for those so-called soft bids to be submitted. We expected a bid to come in from Qatar. That bid seemingly has now emerged. I have a statement sent to me in the last few minutes. It reads, Sheikh Yassin bin Hamid Al Tani today confirmed his submission of a bid for a 100% stake in Manchester United Football Club. The bid plans to return the club to its former glories, both on and off the pitch. Above all, will seek to place the fans at the heart of Manchester United Football Club once more. It also says this statement, the bid will be be completely debt-free via Sheikh Yassim's 9-2 Foundation, which will look to invest in the football teams, the training centre, the stadium, and wider infrastructure, the fan experience, and communities the club supports. The vision of the bid is for Manchester United Football Club to be renowned for footballing excellence and regarded as the greatest football club in the world. Uh, more details of the bid will be released when appropriate, if and when the bid process develops. So Qatar have tonight made a big money bid for Manchester United. It's for a 100% stake in the football club. Qatar always seem to be the favourites in terms of buying out the Glazer family. Looks like that could now happen. And so it begins, Alex Crook, the public PR over who should be the preferred bidders for Manchester United because this will get the fans talking. And just like we saw with Chelsea a little bit earlier on last year, you know, there are people who suddenly prefer bid X or bid Y. They suddenly start choosing who they want. And maybe that begins to play a part in the public consciousness of whether they are happy with the new owners if the bid eventually is the one that is chosen to be the new ownership group. Yeah, I think that's a really good point you've made there, Hugh, because so far the only bids that we know that have been submitted, certainly from the people who claim to have put them in, are from Sir Jim Ratcliffe. He showed his hand quite early. And now from Qatar as well, there is a certain amount of a PR game being played here. I know the Rain Group were expecting up to half a dozen bidders to come in and try and pitch their stake uh, for, for a share of the football club. We expect offers from Saudi Arabia. We expect offers from the USA as well. The fact that Qataris have now shown their hand a good two hours before the deadline. I was expecting their bid to come in maybe a little bit closer to the 10 o'clock deadline. Clearly, they are trying to, to curry public support. And actually, I was at Old Trafford a couple of weeks ago for the Leeds game. A lot of Manchester United fans, while appreciating the moral issues that clearly come with this bid, they were all raised before the World Cup, which actually turned out to be a fantastic event. I think they realise a lot of Manchester United fans, if they really want to challenge for Premier League titles, they really want to challenge for Champions League glory, they have to go toe-to-toe with Manchester City. And that means being state-owned. Do you have an indication as to whether this bid gets close to what the Glazers were hoping for in terms of this sale? Well, that's quite a, a, a key point you've raised there because I was always told the bid would be underneath the £6 billion asking price the Glazers have set on the football club. I think there's a two billion pounds worth there or thereabouts of building work that needs to be done on Old Trafford. We've heard Gary Neville saying the stadium is falling apart. Basically, I think he's probably overrated that pudding slightly, but <laughs> there is significant work that needs to be done at Old Trafford. There's money that needs to be invested in the playing squad. I would imagine this bid falls some way below the six billion pound asking price. So the question for the Glazer family is now: Do we want to cash in? We know we're unpopular owners. We have been for the last twenty years or so. Or or do we ride it out? Because Manchester United are on the verge of getting back into the Champions League, be that by the Premier League, they're in a very strong position in the top four. We saw, or we heard last night live on Talk Sport, a brilliant first leg against Barcelona. If they come through that tie, every chance they win the Europa League, I think the Glazers could drive quite a hard bargain here. So I'd imagine there's still a fair bit of negotiating to be done. Alex, how do you feel about this bid? Because obviously we're all Manchester United fans, very fitting for for Mm. us. Maybe some people might not like that, but all three of us are on right now. So how do you feel about it? Because me and Hugh gave our opinions earlier about it. Well, I've seen Hugh's opinion on social media. He says he would rather 
not go down this route. I'll go back to the point that a lot of Manchester United fans are making. If you want to compete with Manchester City, if you want to compete with Newcastle now under their Saudi regime, this probably is the only way forward. I understand the sort of romance behind the Jim Ratcliffe offer. He's a British billionaire. He's a boyhood Manchester United fan. But are his pockets deep enough, really, mm. to bridge that gap between Manchester United and Manchester City with Newcastle coming on the horizon? I'm not sure they are. Um, and I think what you have to say as well, if you look at the Manchester City model, they've invested in the stadium, they've invested in the infrastructure, the wonderful training grounds that Manchester City have, and they've invested in the local community as well. And from what I'm hearing from Qatar, this bid plans to do the same. So they will rebuild the stadium, whether that be a brand new stadium or just improve on, on what is already there. I hope personally it's the latter. They will improve the training ground. And they will put some money back into community as well. So uh, on that basis, I think a lot of Manchester United fans will welcome this offer. Alex Crook, thank you very much. Thanks, Alex. Our football correspondent joining us with big news on Manchester United. We'll have more on that, I'm sure, uh, on Weekend Breakfast with your reaction tomorrow morning as well.